finger over the candle like that. Ready, steady, three, two, one. Welcome to Erna's Fun Time. And today we're going to do an experiment called rising water experiment. So in this experiment what you're going to need a candle, some water, a glass and a food color. This is optional. You can use any other food, other food coloring or no food coloring. But we're using green food coloring. And a plate. That's all you're going to need. So first, take your water and your food coloring. If, if you don't have food coloring, just like keep watching. Ah, my food coloring fell. Okay, then now I'm gonna color my food coloring. One, two, three, good. Close it. Now we're gonna stir. Then it's nice and green. Good. Now we got a green color. So on to the second. Now on to the next. So now take your candle and put it in the middle of the plate. Now what you're gonna need is a lighter. Okay. And ask a grown up to light the candle. Okay? Light the candle for me. Wait, it's not in the middle. Okay, good. So now the second step. Uh, no, not the second step. It's some other step. I think third step. Now we're going to pour the colored water or regular water into the plate. Nicely. Because we don't want to light the candle to lit out. Okay, good. Let's keep this aside. Okay, I can feel the heat. So now this is the last step to see the reaction. So now take your glass and put it over the candle like that. Ready, steady, three, two, one. It's going. Oh, the water filled up. Do you see? The water filled up. It's like almost at the edge. It's kind of floating, very little, but it did it. See, the candle's right there. And yeah. No, it's not sucking anymore. I actually expected. So, but why did this just happen? Let me tell you how this happened. So this happened because the candle used up all the oxygen in the glass. So, Inside the glass, the candle has created low air pressure. And outside of it, that is atmospheric pressure, is high. So the high atmospheric pressure tries to go in the glass to equalize the pressure. But when the high atmospheric pressure goes, tries to go in the glass, it also brings the water with it. And that's why the water goes in the glass. And yeah, it's high, like high. Okay, I think this is the end of the video. Bye guys, and before we leave, don't forget to subscribe, turn on location, and give this a like. Bye! Hi guys. <laughs>